Tomorrow, I will present the result of the PRIMA study, which is a large international study that address the benefit of rituximab as a maintenance treatment in patients with follicular lymphoma that were in need of therapy. Basically, 1,200 patients that were in need of immediate treatment did receive first an immunochemotherapy standard regimen, RCHOP or RCVP, and were then randomized between observation or a maintenance with rituximab, one infusion every two months for two years. The major finding of this study is that patients that receive the rituximab maintenance had a 50% chance of a 50% reduction in the risk of lymphoma recurrence as opposed to those that were in the observation. This is in line with secondary endpoints and the, like the time to the next chemo regimen and the improvement of the response rate at the end of maintenance. The toxicity that was observed is in line with what is already known with rituximab, uh, an increased rate of infection, which were mostly of grade two infections or common infection. Actually, the study was feasible. The majority of patients remain on studies. There were very few dropouts. And we have also quality of life data clearly indicating that the quality of life of patients that receive either rituximab, maintenance, or observation was similar. So I think very mild toxicity, very well tolerated, a benefit in terms of disease control. Patients with follicular lymphoma have a disease that tend to recur over time. And as physicians, we need to develop treatment that will prevent a rapid recurrence of the disease and prolong the time without treatment while preserving the quality of life of patient. In this study, we have administered to patients one infusion of a drug called rituximab every two months to two years in patients that had received an induction, a first treatment with chemotherapy and rituximab. What we found is that this treatment that we called maintenance with rituximab again, one infusion every two months, was able to delay the time of disease recurrence and to delay the time to start a new chemotherapy in those patients. Therefore, it does provide a better control of the disease over time, preserving the quality of life of patient, which I believe is of significant uh, finding for those. I do think that at the present time, Patients that are over 60, over 70, and sometimes over 80 have a quality of life in general, which is good, and a health status when they develop cancer that remain good for some of them. In these patients, given the progress we have achieved with some new treatments in different fields, I do think that we do have to offer these patients the same chance of either being cured or having the optimal treatment than younger patients. Obviously, this is true for patients over 60, 70, and it can be true in certain patients over 80. In those that have a health status that's compromised, we need to develop specific treatment also using these new agents that will control this disease with low toxicity.